All right, this is going to be my Halo Season 2 Episode 7 review. This episode was called Thermopylae, and, uh, you know, it was okay. I pretty much predicted exactly how this episode was going to go back in my Season 2 Episode 6 review, and I was shocked, like almost to a T, I guessed everything. Let's go ahead and start with pros and then cons. The first pro that I have is Master Chief going against Akerson. He's pissed off. He's like, I'm going to punch a hole right through your chest. Where's my damn armor? And it was just nice to see Ackerson actually get the short end of the stick and have Chief actually go up to him and just threaten him and everything. I really like that. Sure, it was a little bit out of character. Like, I think he's just a little bit too aggressive, but I can see why they did that for the show. I thought the VFX was really good in this episode again. They've actually pretty much nailed the way that they make the elites look and uh, the movements and everything. I was pretty impressed with it overall. And some of the Forerunner tech that we're going to talk about later on in the video. I just thought overall the visuals were pretty good in Episode 7. I also liked a lot of the Miranda and Halsey scenes. Just them talking to each other and Miranda asking about her dad. And then uh, Catherine Halsey telling her that he died and her reaction. And then them exploring the Forerunner lab. All of that stuff was pretty great. Then I really liked when Chief got his armor back and was walking through the base and everyone was like, oh my god, like he's alive? What? What is going on? And he's walking past all of this propaganda, basically saying like, finish his fight, talking about Master Chief because, uh, what's her name, Perengoski and Ackerson are trying to gaslight everybody into thinking that Chief died for humanity and obviously that wasn't the case. So I thought that scene was pretty cool. He's just walking through the base, everyone's looking like, oh my god, is that Master Chief? And I really like the plan to basically expose Perengoski and Ackerson and let everyone know that they lied about Reach and that they knew it was going to fall and they didn't really do anything about it. I really like that, how Chief is trying to expose all of the people that put humanity at risk. Okay, now on to the negatives because there is quite a bit that I had with this episode. So the first one, I want to just talk about McKee. She was like running away from an elite and she is obviously not moving quick. She's like... Ah, and there's an elite just chasing her and the elite doesn't catch her and I'm like how like one stride for the elite is like seven for McKee so how the heck did the elite not catch her okay fine whatever and then McKee kills the elite priest and I'm like how did the how did she kill an elite like how did the elite allow that to happen Next, we got to talk about Perengoski because she made, like, no sense. She needed one person to just basically plant the spike and just blow everything up. And she needed a Spartan 3, essentially, to do that. And then they send out the first wave of Spartan 3s. They all get obliterated in, like, literally a second. And then she's like, send the second wave. And it's like... You have zero chance. You got obliterated in one second. It's not like it was a battle, you know, and they almost made it or something. And then she's like, okay, send a second wave. No, these guys died instantly, which if you send a second wave, they're just going to instantly die too. So what's the point? You're just wasting troops in a war, which makes no sense in my opinion. I think it would have made more sense if she realized the Spartan 3s couldn't do it. And then she had to ask Master Chief and basically convince him this is the only way to win the battle. Something like that, because just sacrificing troops when you know there's zero chance that they're going to make it, to me, made no sense. My next negative is the whole side story with Soren and his wife looking for Kessler. Like, I thought it was actually a, a good idea, you know, have Kessler be essentially recruited by the UNSC to become the next generation of Spartans and uh, basically gaslight him into thinking it was the right thing to do because his father was a Spartan and they could try to convince him that this is, you know, what you should be doing. But this whole side story is just really messy, you know? Like, I, first of all, I don't really like Soren. He's just not a very likable character. His wife is even worse. But then on top of that, in this episode, he finds out that his son is in Thermopylae and he's doing all these, like, trials to become a Spartan. And his wife is like, we gotta go get him. And then he's just like, nah, like, let him try this out. He, he'll, he'll, he'll never know if he's supposed to be a Spartan or not if he doesn't do this. And it's like, dude, what? You left the Spartans because you didn't want to be a part of it. So why are you allowing your son to go down that path too when you didn't agree with it? Right there, I was like, what is this guy talking about? What is the writers doing? Did they even watch season one? I don't know. And then his son too, he ends up going into the Thermopylae place and beats up some of the people that were uh, about to basically beat up his son. And then his son starts backing away and he's just like, it's me, son. It's like, why is the son backing away? That's your dad. 
why are you like afraid of him? I thought, oh, maybe they wiped his memory or something. I don't know. But then the mom comes in and he's just like, mom. And I'm like, so how do you run out? How do you not recognize your dad? Or why are you walking away from him? I don't know. This whole side story is just kind of bonkers. Doesn't really make a lot of sense. And, you know, it has a lot of potential because it would have been really cool if like years from now we pick up and Kessler has become a Spartan. That would have been really cool. But the way that they've handled this side story is just not very good. Then we got more McKee scenes, and honestly, I just really don't like this character, and a lot of the scene she's in just isn't very good in my opinion. Like, the scene where she's talking to Arbiter and, like, brands herself, I'm like, what are we doing here? And I swear if that fan theory is true, that she's pregnant with John's baby because of their uh, horizontal hula that they did in the first season, oh boy, that is gonna anger a lot of people. And then my next negative is the fact that Master Chief is still not doing Master Chief things. Like, yes, he finally got the armor, but it was only at the very end of the episode. And he's not using it in combat. He was just walking around, got into a ship, and that was it. Like, Halo is about Master Chief doing Master Chief things. Yes, John is a great character as well that we need to explore a lot more in this TV show. But we can't sacrifice the actual Master Chief things just to have John basically, you know, getting in arguments with people and fighting against his superiors just as a human. Like, I don't know. To me, the whole appeal of Halo, when you think of Halo, you think Master Chief fighting aliens. That's what you think of. And the show just doesn't really give you that. And I really wish he got his armor at the beginning of this episode and then maybe, you know, joined the attack with the Spartan 3s to try to plant the spike or something, but we just didn't get that. And that is a huge negative for a bunch of people regarding this Halo show is just the fact that Chief never wears the armor really. And this season, he has barely ever touched that thing. It got taken away very early and then it was just all John scenes up until he gets his armor at the end of season two, episode seven. And then I'm sure episode eight is going to be like all action with him in the suit. But still, he's just not wearing it nearly enough. Overall, Season 2, Episode 7, Thermopylae was decent. You know, I think we're heading in the right direction, or at least I hope. We got a lot of Halo connections, like Forerunner Tech and the labs, and, you know, discovering about the past, and then the elites fighting, and then seeing glimpses of Halo. Now we're actually at the ring. Master Chief has his armor back. Things look like they're getting better, and I really hope that Season 2 is setting up a phenomenal Season 3 that completely turns this series around. Because as of right now, it just is very disappointing, and it doesn't really feel like Halo. So I'm going to give this episode a 5 out of 10. I thought it was average, you know, some of the writing was good, the VFX was good. I think we're heading in the right direction. But we need to focus more on Chief as the focal character because in an episode like this, we were jumping around every three minutes to a different storyline. We had like 15 different storylines and it just makes the, f- the show feel a little clunky. And I really hope that season three just focuses on like Forerunner stuff and then Chief going around Halo and focus a little more on the storylines from the games and the books and not just try to do their own thing because it's coming across as very generic and just using like a Halo skin for this Space Marine show. I do think Season 2 has been an improvement from Season 1, but not by very much. Like, I think Season 1 was probably like a 2 or 3 out of 10, and I would say this is probably like a 4 out of 10. I really hope Episode 8 is fantastic. I really hope it just changes the trajectory of this show, and I hope I just love that episode. I hope I give it like a 9 out of 10. Anyways, guys, let me know what you thought about Halo Season 2 Episode 7. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know down below. And are you excited for Season 3?